Hey Ben, here's your uh, quick little made a three minute video or so. Um, just a couple things we want to point out that you can work on, you know, when you get time in the cages, and uh, it'll actually make a little bit more sense of what we're saying if we could show it to you. Um, first thing, obviously, we know we have a lot of power. Um, the next thing is, if we know it, every other pitcher will know it. So we need to make sure that we're in good position so when you start seeing different off speed pitches, we're able to hit them with just as much power. First thing we have to make sure is our hands are in the right position. Our hands are just a little too high and you'll be able to see that when we slow down this video. Next thing is we want to lead with the handle of the bat, not your left elbow. Um, and I think that'll come when we relax our hands. Last thing is that our contact, we want to make contact and extend our arms all the way through so we can finish the swing and then release, which means we're going to let go of one hand after we make a full shoulder turn. So here's a couple of your swings. We're going to show the first one at full speed and then we'll slow it down. Okay, here's your swing at full speed. Ball flies off. Okay, so but let's look at the same thing in slow motion. Okay, um, first thing, look how high your hands are. Um, really almost above your head. So those need to come down at shoulder width. You get them there when you start to load, but it's one extra step you don't want to have. Next thing, if you watch in slow motion, you actually lead with your left elbow. We want to lead with the handle of the bat. So that way when we're making contact, your arms are fully extended, not behind you. So we want to make sure of that. Then we get a full hip turn and our shoulders need to rotate all the way to the pitcher. And when that right shoulder reaches the pitcher, we're going to release one of those hands, okay? Uh, you're going to end up releasing your top hand and finishing. See how your hand is staying on the back, which causes you to go to the middle of your back. Okay, now here you split screen, you can see Mike Trout, one of the best power hitters that's out there. You can see, decent stride, okay, you don't have a big leg kick, um, and we can work on that. That may give you a little bit more power, but most importantly, look at his hands. Even with his head, they don't go anywhere, even when he's loading. The hands stay the same. We start to tuck that right elbow a little bit, you see right here. Okay, we're not leading with an elbow, that starts to tuck, and right there the handle's at the pitcher, and we make intact, impact with full extension. And look how high he finishes. We're pointing the bat to the outfielder, and we finish, and then eventually we'll release, uh, which will be a big deal. Now, he doesn't release because he's got so much upper body strength. Okay, but the next one you're going to see Ken Griffey, which is probably even better than that, when you talk about that swing. Okay, here, here's now you with Ken Griffey. Uh, if you watch again, look at the hands. Even with the shoulder, we start to load. Hands are in great position, head over the belly button. Uh, we have a, He's got a relatively short stride for a guy that tall. Um, but as he loads, hips start to open and he throws that handle. He's got really quick hands. Throws that handle at the, at the pitcher. Okay, head is very still. Hands are very still until right here. And we stay on plane. Now watch it impact. He makes impact right around here, and arms are fully extended right there. And look how high he finishes, okay? And as he finishes his turn, he releases, which one hand comes off the bat, okay? That means when your right shoulder makes it all the way to the pitcher, that's when we're going to release. Hope that helps you.